Hello everyone, my name is Maziar Panahi and I'm a Spark NLP lead at John Snow Labs. I would like to share some of the latest features we release in Spark NLP, especially in the fields of computer vision and automatic speech recognition. A quick introduction, Spark NLP is an Apache 2 license library for Python, Java, and Scala. This means everything in this library is completely free and open source for both personal and commercial use. The library has been around for over four years and we have had more than 100 releases. Spark NLP has been one of the most used NLP libraries in the enterprise for the past few years. The downloads of a Spark NLP library have grown over 40 times within the last two years. In fact, we are celebrating our 36 million downloads for Python on PySpark this month. There is a clear correlation between the features we released and the growth in our downloads by adding new users and more usage. We are listening to the community as well as following the latest trends in NLP research, making them both scalable and production ready. We continuously test optimize and make sure Spark NLP supports all the platforms with every new release. All you need is the internet and a browser to use Spark NLP from free and self-hosted notebooks like Google Colab and Kaggle to Jupyter on your local machine or distributed environments like Kubernetes cluster, Databricks, AWS CMR, and so on. Now let's talk about Models Hub. Creating your own NLP product has never been easier. Over 11,000 free and open source models are at your fingertips. We make sure the sanity of each model we deliver to the community from the accuracy all the way to the overall performance. As we can see, there is a little joke here. Even our designers cannot keep up with the rapidly growing numbers of features and high quality models introduced in Spark NLP. If you would like to see demos made by our pre-trained models and pipelines, please go visit the official website for Spark NLP and check out the demo page. Now let's talk about Spark NLP 4. In Spark NLP 4.0, we introduced a modern extractive transformer based question answering feature for seven of the most popular language models, such as BERT, Electra, Roberta, DiBerta, and so on. A quick demo of how extractive Q&A works is where you have the context and you ask questions from the context. As you can see in the right example, the questions are not always obvious even to the humans, let alone to a deep learning model, but the result is pretty impressive. We also started to provide experimental support for Apple M1 and M2 chips, in addition to welcoming support for one DNN by one API for optimization on Intel processors. Speaking of the optimizations, we improved the performance of all transformer-based embeddings in a Spark NLP up to eight times faster on GPU and almost twice performance gain by only enabling one DNN on Intel processors. Now it gets us to Vision Transformer. Vision Transformer focuses on higher accuracy, but with less compute time. You can pre-train and fine tune your Vision Transformer models, just as you do in NLP, and that's pretty cool. If you ever try to train or fine tune a model in computer vision by using CNNs, you would know it takes a long time, requires lots of resources, and a large number of labeled data sets. In a Spark NLP 4.1, we introduced the support for transformer vision for the state-of-the-art image classification task, the first feature for computer vision task ever released in a Spark NLP. And as always, we made sure it's both easy to use and production ready. What do I mean by production ready? As you can see, Spark NLP performs better than other Python libraries, offering the same feature even on a single machine. Spark NLP 
it's 65% faster than hugging face on CPUs and almost 80% on a GPU in a single machine. Now, unlike other Python libraries stuck in one machine, Spark NLP can be easily scaled out over multiple machines thanks to being a native extension of Apache Spark. On a cluster of 10 nodes by using CPUs, it can be 11 times faster than a Python library on a single machine. And this is the same for GPU. On a cluster of 10 nodes by using GPUs, it can be up to 13 times faster than a Python library on a single machine. Now that gets us to the last section, which is automatic speech recognition. I would like to share some of these latest features that we added in Spark NLP 4.2. But a little bit history of wave 2 vec 2 wave 2 vec 2 is one of the current state-of-the-art models for automatic speech recognition due to self-supervised training, which is quite a new concept in this field. Using one hour of labeled data, wave 2 vec 2 outperforms the previous state-of-the-art on the 100-hour subset while using 100 times less labeled data. Spark NLP 4.2 was released just last week. We delivered wave 2 vec 2 as the first of its kind while maintaining its accuracy and adding the ease of use and scalability one can expect from using a feature in Spark NLP. And because the Spark NLP is a fully featured NLP library, you can have the transcript at the beginning of every possible NLP pipeline. For instance, in this example, I use an entity recognition pipeline by using the NER model trained on onto nodes and BERT embeddings to directly extract entities from my audio files. The scaling out by adding more machines has its own overheads and other difficulties that come with distributed systems. That said, scaling the ASR pipeline in a Spark NLP is linear, whereby adding every new node, you can see the increase in performance. One can expect from doubling the total amount of resources. Spark NLP on 10 nodes by using CPUs is up to nine times faster than a single machine. And the linear scaling is not just limited to the CPUs. Spark NLP scales out on GPUs with such simplicity and quality that a cluster of 10 nodes with GPU can be sped up to 10 times. That's 900% improvements in performance compared to a single machine on a single GPU. This simply allows you to save money and time on computation in production, whether you decide to go with CPU or GPU. I would like to thank you for your time and wish you all a great NLP summit ahead. Thank you very much.